Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with another uh, giveaway uh, entry from my giveaway challenge. Um, the challenge is now closed. I believe this was my final entry I was waiting on, so um, I will be drawing out a winner here in the next few days. This actually did arrive a couple of days ago and I just haven't had a chance to film. I've been super busy with a few other things, um, but it did come in from Mackie. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you what she sent me. She did have this envelope packed full and I did pull everything out but I didn't look at anything yet. Um, she did include a little card so I'm going to open that and see what she sent me. Okay, so she created a beautiful little handmade card and she did go with a pastelloween theme which is awesome because I'm, I'm getting ready to start my Halloween crafting. This is such a pretty card, Mackie. Thank you so much. I love the little ghosty and the the, head, the little uh, coffin shaped this little flower okay and then she just said uh, thank you so much for hosting this challenge I hope you like what I created have an awesome day crafty hubs hugs Mackie thank you so much I love this little card okay she included all of this beautiful pretty shred pink and purple and white and she also included some of the little um, iridescent shred, shred that uh, I believe it was Anna that had sent that to me. Um, it was either Anna or Cynthia. I did a challenge entry opening the other day and it had a bunch of this really pretty, like fine shred in it. It's really, really pretty. So I'll keep this and reuse it. Thank you so much for all of that. And um, like I said, she did go with Halloween theme, the past Halloween, super cute. I'm gonna open the little bag first. Um, she created this beautiful little bag topper um, and she used uh, like a holographic um, doily and she did some uh, crepe paper, uh, sewed crepe paper and some tulle, a little um, twine bow, some silver leaf um, trim, a little hocus pocus and these little pumpkins. I'm guessing this might be like a digital collection. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. Thank you so much. I definitely will use this again. Okay, and then it's this really pretty little pink and white striped bag. Okay, and she sent me a really cute shaker uh, memory decks. So um, she has this really cute cluster down here with a little silver spider web and a little silver spider eek, some iridescent hearts, this little lollipop, a little ghosty, rest in peace. I love this acetate that you use, or this vinyl, it feels like vinyl. I'm not sure if it's acetate or vinyl. It's really pretty with the holographic circles. And then she did a little dangle with a clear, like an iridescent bow and a little purple pumpkin and a little white heart uh, wire wrapped bead. Um, she does have her information on the back, so I'm going to show, I don't want to show that if it has, it does have her address. Her name is Mackie. She is on YouTube as West Coast Crafty Babe. So I'll include her information below. Her birthday is February 25th. I'm, your birthday is just a few days after mine. Mine's February 19th. Uh, we are Pisces babies. <laughs> Favorite colors are pink, mint, yellow, and gold, and anything iridescent. Favorite crafting style is layered. Thank you so much for that information. That is such a pretty memory deck. Thank you so much. I can't wait to add that to my memory decks holder. All right, so she uh, did create me some handmade flowers. And she put them in this really cute little box. She added this little, um, like, vinyl, uh, like, faux leather bow um, bat bow. That's really cute. She has this on a little heart, um, a little heart uh, clasp. Let me get this off of here. So that's really cute. Thank you. I can definitely add that to another project or that's really adorable. Okay. So I hate to open this because you have it wrapped up so nicely, but I do want to see these flowers. Okay, so she made me some handmade flowers, and these look a lot like Lori's flowers, the nice layered flowers. So she did this one here. Really pretty. I'm actually just going to leave them in the box since it's clear. Those are beautiful, Mackie. Thank you so much. I love those. And I, like I said, I'm getting ready to start my Christmas or my Halloween crafting, um, so I can definitely use these with my new Frank Garcia 31 collection. She also sent me this little package here. It has a little belly band on it. Looks like she made me some of those bat bows. Let's look at this belly band first. This is so cute. A little batty. This really pretty little girl. I love these little bat sequins you added on here on these iridescent hearts. 
a little ticket and a, some uh, seam binding. This is such a cute little belly band. I love this. And she did make me some of those bat bows out of pink and white vinyl. And then she also made some iridescent ones as well. Thank you so much. I love those. Like I said, I will definitely put these to use very soon. I'm getting ready to start my Halloween crafting. I just finished up a summer project I was working on for a friend. Just got it packaged up. So now I can finally focus on Halloween. Um, so I'm excited about that. I love Halloween crafting, but I also love fall crafting. So I'll do some Halloween crafting for the next month or so, and then I'll probably kick in over to fall. All right. And she also sent me an embellishment box. So let me take this out of this bag. This is so pretty. I love all these embellishment boxes I've gotten in my giveaway challenge. I just love all of the things that everyone has sent me and created. This is beautiful. She did a really pretty shaker. That sequin mix is gorgeous. She did some iridescent, holographic, pink, gold. It's beautiful. Purple. So she did a little dangle charm on here. And she added a little spider web and some wire wrapped beads and a pink tassel. She added this little, I love those silver bats. Are those sequins? Those are really cool. I love those. I wish I could find something like that here. She did a little like haunted house with a ghost, trick or treat, and these little tiny little spiders are super cute. Some seam binding and then another little like acrylic spider. I love this little embell this little edge here. I'm sorry if I'm not going into frame. <laughs> I love this little um, black kitty cat with a headstone and a foam flower. And then here she has a white um, plastic spider web with a little uh, sequined um, spider, a little jemmy heart, and a couple of little pumpkins. This is so cute. I love that. And then the background is um, just like a pink paper and she added some stickles. This is so pretty. Okay. All right. Oh, and she decorated the inside as well. And this is her information, West Coast Crafty Babe. She added a little pocket on the inside with her little ghosts peeking out. So cute. Okay, so she sent me a lot of Halloween goodies, which is perfect because I'm starting Halloween. All right, so she sent me some little headstone buttons and this little like tree, like a spooky tree, um, a couple of beads. Oh, these spiderweb beads are super cool. Where did you get those? And then a black one with a white spider web. Those are cool beads. I love those. Another little headstone, a little pumpkin bead, a little jack o' lantern, and then some little bat um, bat flatbacks. A couple more bits in there. Thank you so much. She added some really pretty sparkly beads in this pink, white, and black. Again, this is going to go absolutely perfect with the Frank Garcia 31 collection. Some little bows, silver and pink and gold. Those are really pretty like metallic bows. Lots of little Halloween charms. Uh, one that says witch, a little spider web, um, a little bat, a little bat guy, a little ghosty. This ghost is super cute. I like him. Uh, a little spider. Uh, lots of little goodies. Oh, this one is really cool. Let me just put those there for a second. This one is really cool. This little skeleton. Um, she added some little, like a little witch hat and a spider web and some little ghosts and a, like a little skull. Lots of really good Halloween charms. Thank you so much. I was making dingles the other day. And this will be nice. I can add. I can make some more wire wrapped beads and add those to the uh, those um, new wire wrapped beads. She uh, made me or she sent me some really pretty little flat backs and charms. These little flowers are super pretty. A little uh, witch hat, a little bubble charm, a little um, like present, some pink pumpkins, uh, another little rose with a mint flower and this really pretty like little pumpkin with it's like it's almost like stained glass like resin or enamel super pretty okay she also sent me some little pink 
and white and gold little puffy hearts. These are so pretty. I can't wait to add these two projects. Okay, she sent me a bunch of those little tiny spiders. So that's fun. I can definitely add those to my Halloween projects. I love these. They're so tiny. Okay. She also sent me some really pretty little um, gemmy hearts. And they are almost like diamond shaped. Those are so pretty. Um, oh, these are really cool. She sent me, these are like skull um, like silhouette. I love those. Little flat backs. Okay, uh, she made me a little, um, like a little ghost, yarn ghost. He's really cute. And then she also sent me a little sequin mix. And some little wooden hearts. These are nice to have too. And if I don't use them for Halloween, I can save them for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much, Matthew. I love this, em this embellishment box. It's so pretty. And everything is definitely going to go really well with the Halloween collections that I'll be playing with this year. Super excited to try this out. And I'm not sure what I'm catching on here. <laughs> it doesn't want to close. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love it. I love everything that you sent me. These beautiful flowers and these beautiful bows. And of course, this gorgeous memory decks card. If anyone has any questions, let me know. I really appreciate everyone that entered my giveaway. And I will be drawing um, a name soon for the winner. If anyone has any questions, again, let me know. And if you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate if you'd consider subscribing. I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye, guys.